Good afternoon and welcome to today's webinar, Select Pro Features and Enhancements. I am proud to introduce Danielle Brees. Good afternoon. Today I'll be presenting to you the new features and enhancements on Select Pro that went live April 1st. We have gone live with our new improved user interface. You'll notice a new toggle screen, vertical scrolling, and the ability to clear the valve and actuator selection sections separately. We've released this new Quick Quote module, which allows you to create a quote schedule or quote quickly on the fly and with ease. We're now offering additional media, including images, installation instructions, 3D images, and CAD drawings. We have a new media download feature, which gives you the ability to zip all of your scheduled media onto your computer. And manual selection is now available for the damper and retrofit modules. This was the previous navigation screen. You'll notice that it looks like a flat image. You wouldn't necessarily know that by clicking on the white text at the bottom, it would open a module. April 1st, we went live with this new navigation screen. It is more intuitive. It looks like a tool. And you can tell by, by clicking on these correlating buttons, it will open the module. The previous user interface was busy and confusing. It had this horizontal landscape, which means that you would size and select our product from left to right. The new user interface is clean and it's simple. It is a vertical scrolling interface, so you would size and select your products from top to bottom. It brings you through the flow of the selection process. Up at the top here, you'll notice that there's a home icon. This will bring you back to that first navigation screen with the black background and the buttons. The manual selection and the quick quote buttons are placed conveniently at the top. So if you already know which products you would like to add to the schedule, you can go ahead and click on those buttons and bypass the selection process below. You have the option to clear the entire form or you can just clear the valve section or actuator section separately. So if you've gone ahead and already sized out your valve, but maybe you need to play around with the actuator or change some of the technical attributes, you can go ahead and just clear just the valve, the actuator section, so that you don't have to re-enter all of the information or criteria based on your valve. We have these intuitive and easy to find export option buttons at the bottom. In the past, they were just under the menu bar at the top, but if you clicked on File, they would drop down. They are still located here. However, the buttons allow you to visually see them easier and without having to click another option screen. Our new Quick Quote module allows you to narrow your results by typing the Search for Keywords box. Now, this is a dynamic box, so you can either type um, your product number, like a B207, or you can go ahead and just say something like energy valve or non-spring return actuator. And what it's going to do is search in, within that list for anything that has those words. You could go ahead and filter or sort your results by the attribute titles. So you'll see I have highlighted in a red box control input. All those attributes at the top, if you click on them, it'll put them in A to Z order. So kind of like Excel. So you can go ahead and click on that and, and see your different options. So if you were to click on fail safe, you'd see non-spring return. Or if you clicked on it, maybe you'd see spring return first, because S comes after N. You can view all of the products in your schedule in one tab in the Quick Quote module. So in the rest of Select Pro, um, for any of you that have used it before, you'll see these tabs at the bottom, water, steam, pressure independent, damper actuator, retrofit, or piping. And what that's going to do is, put your products in the correlating tabs that it fits into. Now in Quick Quote module, it allows you to see everything in one tab. So you'll be able to see your valves, your actuators, and also any accessories you might need to add. Additional media options we're offering now are data sheets, product images, installation instructions, and 3D drawings. You'll see these below in your schedule. So the blue text signifies that it's a link. So if you click on those, it'll open the correlating media. Clicking on these links will bring up data sheets as a download. So it'll download um, the data sheet in a separate window, so in a separate browser. So it's not hanging up your Select Pro or causing you to wait for it to open before you can continue working in Select Pro. 
the image opens in a separate browser. So it does not download, but it just opens in the browser. But if you right click on the image, you can save the photo as whatever you'd like to name it. Installation instructions is similar to the data sheet. And our 3D drawings are hosted through our vendor ThomasNet. So it will open the ThomasNet website, and you'll be able to then access the 3D or CAD drawings, um, rivet files within that website, and then choose what you'd like to do with them. The media download compresses all the files associated with your schedule, creating a zip folder on your computer. This is with the exception of the 3D drawings because they are offered through our vendor ThomasNet. By clicking on the media download button at the bottom, it will prompt you to open the file once it's downloaded. To find your zip file, you find your Select Pro application folder. Within that folder, you'll see a folder called Media Download. By opening that, it, you'll be able to see whatever media you download in your schedule in Select Pro, it's going to default it and save it as the name of your project name. So in this instance, I had had my project name be sales meeting, but yours might be hospital or a rooftop unit. And by doing that, you'll be able to go ahead and select Pro, put together all these different schedules, and then in, when you're done, open this media download folder and navigate through all the different zipped media files. When you open it, you'll see that you have PDFs, images, the installation instructions, as well as the data sheets, and all of the media associated with your schedule in one folder. A zip file is able to be sent through email, so you can go ahead. The files are already compressed. It won't give you any problems when you try to send it to a colleague or a coworker. I wanted to take everybody through the online ordering process because I wasn't sure if everyone's familiar with this that we offer at Belimo. So you go onto our website, www.belimo.us. At the right top of the screen, you'll see a blue button that says Shop. By clicking on that, it'll bring you to our iShop. If you already have a username and password, you can go ahead and enter it. And if you don't, you can click on underneath login. There's a link that says Register. And I'll walk you through the registration process to create an account. Once you've logged in, you'll see that now it offers this tab, Quick Order. Click on Quick Order. You have the option to copy and paste, type it, or upload. For a select profile, we want it to upload. So we'll click on the Upload, and then click Browse. When you save a file in Select Pro, it automatically defaults and saves it as .bel file. So what that means is it's a Belimo file, and it's able to be uploaded onto our website. You open your Select Pro folder, and then open the folder called Schedule. You'll be able to find the schedule that you put together. So in this case, I named it Test Schedule. You're going to click on that Test Schedule, and then click on Open. You can click on the Go button down here. And what's it going to do is connect or upload this to the website. It's going to run for a little bit. You'll see the, the black arrow go round and round. And then once it's uploaded, it'll drop in all of the different products that you had in your schedule. If it has issues with any, it will prompt you and maybe say, you have to configure this, et cetera, et cetera. But any configuration that you've already done in Select Pro will be uploaded onto our website. Once you check this out and it looks good, you can hit the orange button next. And what that's going to do is bring you to the final pro processing screen. It's going to prompt you to put in your PO number, ship to address, shipping method, and et cetera. And then by clicking continue at the bottom at the right, or order now, you'll be able to then process that order. Please continue to provide your feedback on how we can further improve our sales tool. I really appreciate it, whether it's a new feature or enhancement that might help your daily business, or if it's something that's currently hanging up or causing problems, I don't mind listening. You can email me at danielle.brief, B-R-E-E-C-E, at us.limo.com, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much, Danielle. We do have a couple of questions for you. The first question is, um, is online ordering the same for Canadian customers? Yes, online ordering should work very similar. Um, the U.S. website and the Canadian website are essentially the same, just based on the different locations. Okay. Um, are you still sending out uh, Select Pro CDs to customers? We are not sending out CDs anymore. We find this a little bit antiquated. But if you do have a problem with your Select Pro 
trying to download it to your computer, I recommend you giving me a call or an email first. If you still have issues, I can either send you the zip file of the program, which allows you to download it to your computer, or we can only send out a USB with the program on it. Okay. The latest version of Select Pro seems to crash a lot. Are there any known issues or workarounds to solve this problem? Sure. If you're having problems, usually it has to do with um, the administrator rights on your computer. Even though you might think you have admin rights, it still sometimes causes a problem. There's a one-time fix for this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download Select Pro. And once the icon's on your screen, you're going to right-click on it, choose in the sidebar that comes up, Run as Administrator, and then it should fix it forever. So it shouldn't cause any problems after that with running the application. Okay. Um, does Select Pro come in any other languages? Yes, we offer Select Pro in English as well as Spanish, Portuguese, and French. Once you open the tool, underneath my contact information or my settings, you can choose language, and then from there choose whatever correlating language you need, whether it be Spanish, Portuguese, or French. Okay. And does Select Pro auto update? Yes, it does. So if we release any new versions of Select Pro, whether it be a big version with many different features and enhancements, or whether it's something simple as just fixing a bug that it was existing, um, next time you go to open your Select Pro program and you double click on it, it'll prompt you and say, there's a new version of Select Pro, would you like to download it now? Um, you could always say no, but we don't recommend that. We always recommend having the newest version of Select Pro on your computer. Great. Thank you so much, Danielle, for taking us through um, the webinar about Select Pro. And once again, if you should have any further questions, feel free to contact um, Belimo at marketing at us.belimo.com. Thank you so much. Have a great day.